It's Miniature Monday, and do you know where your miniatures are? Today, we are going to be taking a look at the ghost miniature from Reaper Bones, the Darkhaven Bones series. And uh, this particular one is sculpted by Julie Guthrie, and it is not in the pack. So I know what you're thinking right about this time, Dr. Zom. I thought this was an unboxing video. You're supposed to open it up out of the box. Well, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. No, I'm not going to have this ghost stand behind Demi Moore in a pottery wheel and get it on to the Righteous Brothers. Oh, no. Oh, no. See, I'm going to have this one already painted for you. So what I ended up doing was I ended up picking up some of the contrast paints from the new uh, Citadel line, and I ended up painting this. And I want to let you know what this looks like when it is painted and let you know that contrast paints aren't just for Games Workshop miniatures. This literally took me, I want to say about mm, five minutes to paint. Uh, you can still see a little bit of a uh, wet PVA glue right there for the tuft grass on there. But as you can see, it's not too shabby. Uh, just one coat. I didn't do any highlighting with it. I just slopped it on. And uh, the, the tombstone The tombstone is contrast paint from the Citadel line too. Now, the main color here is a bit of a lie. It's not really contrast paint. It's that, uh, here it is. It's Hex Wraith Flame. So this is the stuff that came out with right before contrast. I think this is really... If you want to ask my opinion about it, it's really contrast paint before they started calling it contrast paint. Um, so I, I just basically went over this with um, a spray of a gray sear spray is what they use for the contrast undercoat is what they recommend. And then I just waited for it to dry, slopped that on, waited for that to dry. And then I went over the tombstone with uh, this uh, Bastilla Canum gray. And that's what gave me a really nice uh, stone effect as well. So uh, that's, uh, yeah. I mean, I really did not have to do any highlighting with it. Um, it's just, yeah, one coat did it. Um, cool thing about it is this uh, gray sear right here. I can't get it in the shot. But the spray paint of that, um, it goes on really super smooth. It's expensive as all sin. It's like, uh, I don't know, they charge... $19 or something like that over at the games workshop shop or store for it So for a thing of spray, but it goes on really super smooth and to be honest with you It does a really good job of uh, Making sure that pigment slides into the recesses of the miniature. So I mean You're paying 20 bucks for a thing of spray paint But the thing about it is really how much is your time worth like this literally took me five minutes to paint it took me longer to do the base than it did to actually paint the miniature and you have something ready for your tabletop ready for your next game you know ready for your next encounter so you know i'm, I'm really liking this stuff um the, the only thing is if you uh decide to use the citadel contrast paints and you get the gray spray make sure you get yourself a pot of the gray base as well um that will help you clean up any like mistakes you make if the uh you know, you, the, I don't know, the pigment migrates to where it's not supposed to. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with the Citadel contrast paints. Um, I'll have a few more painted up for you. One of those black dragons from uh, the WizKids uh, Nolzer's Marvelous Miniature line. Um, I, I'm in the middle of painting one of those, and I got about 15 minutes into it, and I'm almost done. That is literally how easy and fast that you can paint your models with with this contrast paint um is it a better quality you know a paint job no it's it, you know this ta passes for tabletop this isn't gonna win you any golden demons or anything like that so don't think that uh you know don't think that uh you're gonna win any awards using this uh maybe like a couple speed painting competitions that's about it but uh yeah i'm uh i'm enjoying it and uh i hope you enjoy it too so, if you liked this video, I encourage you to give it a thumbs up. 
If you didn't like it, you can give it a thumbs down too. That's all right. If you like to see more videos, just like the content I have just displayed, you're more than welcome to uh, click that subscribe button. It uh, gives you an alert every time I uh, put something new on. And again, I'd like to thank you for watching. Good day.